Thank you very much, Paul Crane. Football's flying all over the Superdome tonight. Drew Brees hitting nine different Saints, one of them, Robert Meacham. And uh, first time you've joined us since coming back to the team. Welcome back to the postgame show. Thank you. All right, Robert, let's just go back to uh, the beginning of this game. Uh, Carolina had the ball quite a bit in the first quarter. You guys punted. Uh, but the, to me, the, the big play that kind of opened things up was Darren Sproles' run, and you had a big block on that play. Uh, take me through that play for you. Um, just seeing the safety coming down, and um, he was the closest one that could make the play. Just kind of held him, got my, got my body in front of him a little bit and held him up, and Sproles did the rest. That was a big one, led to a Marcus Colston touchdown. Um, just talk about bouncing back from last week. Uh, you've been around the, these Saints for a long time and haven't been through many games like that in Seattle. What was the mood like this week uh, leading up to such an effort like this tonight? We had something to prove to our fans and to ourselves and everybody from top to bottom, we, everybody had to be accountable. From, from our owner, Mr. Benson, all the way down to the last player. Talk about uh, bouncing back from Seattle. Coach Sean Payton, we heard from him earlier in the press conference. He said his one concern was energy with this football team. It didn't look like much of a concern tonight. Our energy was a little sluggish uh, at first. Mm -hmm. and, um, I guess guys just kept walking to each other, stop feeling sorry for yourself. Let's pick it up. Let's pick it up. And everybody started feeding off each other. And that run, like you said, that run got us going. Talk about this offense. As you know, it's always kind of hitting the hot hand. Uh, there's a star, different star every game, but Marcus Colston scores as many touchdowns tonight as he had in his first 12 games. Um, you know, he's a guy that's not going to talk about stats, but you know, a big game from him, and that's something that the fans have been waiting for. Uh, just talk about his performance tonight. That's Colston doing what he do. <laughs> um, we call him a quiet storm for a reason, mm -hmm. and he's just going out there. And go, he's going to go out there and just make plays. And um, he's going to do whatever it takes throughout the week to get his body ready to go make plays. You're going to be on your uh, front or back porch one day um, telling your relatives that you play with Drew Brees. And he was the fastest quarterback ever to 50,000 yards passing. Uh, Peyton had fun after the game saying, uh, you know, it wasn't like the fireworks went off in the dome for such a milestone. But, but what was the reaction with him on the sideline? I mean, that's, that's a big deal. Honestly, it just caught us all off guard because like 50,000 yards, that's a lot of yards. Yeah. And I mean, it was, it was just amazing to be a part of that. And for him to reach one of his goals, um, that's why he's one of the top quarterbacks in the league. Close out, let's talk about you. Uh, you went to San Diego and, and now you're back. Uh, what's it been like? I mean, you weren't here for, for training camp and you, you jumped right into game action. I mean, just, just how, how's the transition been? Might have been good that I wasn't here for training camp. <laughs> That's a positive, right? Yeah, it was um, nice weather in San Diego doing training camp. You told me it was all part of the master plan, wasn't it? It was all part, all planned. <laughs> um, but just coming back, just being here, just being comfortable and uh, having your confidence all over again. Uh, just being around the players, uh, coaches, and that same day, I remember like it's yesterday, Coach Payton called me and said, "It's time for you to come home." Hmm. And when he called uh, the, the Saturday after I got released from the charges, he called Sunday morning. He said, it's time for you to come home. And that meant a lot to me. I'm sure it did. Well, listen, uh, since you've returned home, the Saints team is uh, back where they used to be when you were here before San Diego. Uh, tough three games coming up, but we appreciate your time. Thank you. All right, Robert Meacham, uh, guys catching the ball and blocking for Darren Sproles and was one of the bigger games.